The economic and financial crisis has seriously affected Europe. There has been a substantial slowdown in growth and European enterprises are facing increasing financial difficulties, while households worry about their buying power. The prospects of social and economic recovery was the central theme of the European Ideas Network University organized by the EPP group here in Vienna. The social impact of the crisis and the prospects of economic recovery were at the top of the agenda of the European Ideas Network roundtables. Professors of economics, sociologists, along with members of the European Parliament discussed how to show solidarity with those who are affected by the crisis. They believe that a way to measure the success of a social model is its ability to get people onto work and to keep citizens out of poverty. All European countries injected billions of euros cash to stimulate their economies, increase the level of economic activity and avoid high unemployment. As a result, European economy shows the first signs of gradual recovery, said European Commission's president, José Manuel Barroso. We have approved the largest ever uh, program uh, of um, <clears throat> stimulus to the economy. I think that thanks to that we avoided free fall of the economy. There are now some positive signals, so it's still too soon to say that everything is solved. While um, unemployment is going up, we cannot say the recovery uh, is already there. But I think what we have been doing has been very important for the short term and also for the medium term with financial regulation and supervision, giving a real European dimension to that. So I think uh, the European Union has been, generally speaking, working very well. On the other hand, this simulative policy had as consequence doubling the government budget deficits in the European Union in 2008. The budget imbalances have to be repaired one day and the question is if the citizens are ready to pay for this, says Jan Algan, professor of economics in Paris. The big problem will be uh, the level of social capital and of trust in citizens in countries where people actually think that uh, only the financial markets are responsible for this crisis or think that, uh, for instance, the parliament is corrupt and so on, will not be ready to pay higher taxes and to think that it is a common fate. So the key problem to be able to uh, actually foster cooperation and ask people to finance this deficit will be precisely to show them that this cost has to be shared by everybody and everybody is actually uh, providing the same cost, even the top people in the banks as the workers. It will take time for the world economy to come to its pre-crisis level, underlined Barin Baran Bhattacharya, president of the Nehru University in New Delhi, India, and senior advisor of the Prime Minister. For the Indian professor, the best lesson of this crisis is how not to repeat it again. I would say that all the nations of the world particularly the European nations who had earlier so far provided a very stable framework of the economic policy, not to get swayed by the financial capitalism and distinguish it very clearly from the production behavior. This particular crisis came from American financial exuberance, which is now most of the serious economists believe was unwarranted by the fundamentals.